Okay, I've done a little bit of peeling and I just want to show you uh, that you really do need to be a little bit careful. So this acrylic, some of the joints are, if you look at this, I'll flip it over so you can see a little bit clearer, the green one in my hand. These two sides are actually only joined by a single bit of this uh, acrylic here. And some of the other layers are, are possibly even more a little bit fragile. So although it's, you know, I'm not saying it's fragile as it's going to break in your hand, it's not. But you've got to be a little bit careful. And uh, although I think this is going to be very attractive to uh, young adults, children, etc., I do think that even with the peeling stage, you've got to do a little bit of sensible supervision. So although this is coming very easily, if you actually rushed or someone was being a little bit too fast or grabbing, that uh, you, you, you could potentially wreck something before you, uh, before you started. So uh, plastic comes off really easily, so do that to all the sides. And I just want to quickly show you the uh, clear tops and bottoms because there's some really nice details on uh, on both. Now, it's going to be quite difficult for me to get this in the light so you can see it, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try and actually use the reflection to help. But in this area here, you've actually got above where the LEDs will be the OK, the power, the FDX, LNK, link light, etc. And the 10 megabit to let the, net, let if another, the network's working. All the socket points are labelled. So you've got here the USB connector. You've got here... Uh, the network adapter point, you've got here the um, monitor output, and you'll have here, I guess that's a picture of a TV. Also the Raspberry Pi logo, which I think is absolutely fantastic, so Raspberry Pi org um, uh, kind of copyright image, but they're letting everybody use it. I don't think there's going to be an issue with uh, with another company, Pyburn. I've got another case that uses it as well. I think it's fantastic, and again, they've done a similar kind of a design idea where the actual... Uh, let's say cells uh, or partitions or segments of the actual Raspberry Pi fruit are completely uh, cut through and obviously then offer ventilation. Again, a similar kind of nice design in the bottom, much simpler, but there's quite a few cut through holes here. So again, bottom base ventilation. They've laser etched it on, so this is actually the, the laser etched side. They've obviously done this in reverse so that the bottom, uh, nothing's going to get scratched, etc. And you can see here, again, I'm going to try and use the light to help me. The Pi Moroni and this wonderful logo kind of face of a of a gentleman with a with a hat or a turban and a, and a beard, a really nice logo going on there. And you've got here um, some hearts, which is just a sweet little uh, a, a, a kind of um, um, adornment here. The Pibo.com website, so literally it's P-I-B-O-W.com. And again, a little indication to let you know at the top that the SD card will go in that side, and that zero is actually. Uh, just the same kind of information that you're getting again just throw these white bits away on each layer so here's the uh, layer one on each layer there's actually an etched uh, laser etched number so this is number one and again some more information to let you know what goes near it so it's helping you as you build the layers realize what sockets uh, and what layers you've got etc so um, I'm going to finish off all the uh, all the peeling so it's just a little note be a little bit careful um, wouldn't rush this part and uh, as you can see all the parts come really really nice this protective layer makes a lot of sense and uh, all this beautiful detail comes out to you as you do the peeling